So welcome ladies and gentlemen to the final game of the Premier League season. Manchester City at Old Trafford. This is a big one. I'm not sure who Liverpool are facing. It would be nice to actually have a schedule so you could see, you know, what other teams are facing. So I don't know who they are against. So they could win, they could lose, they could draw. But we have to possibly win this one to clinch that fourth spot. Uh, we have a lot of players up for it, so it's looking good there. I mean, they have a stacked team when you look at it. They've got Xavi in there, David Silva, Aguero, Van Persie up against his former side. So we're definitely not going to take them lightly. But we'll start David De Gea in goal. Had a good game against Chelsea. Godin, Blint, Darmian, Short, all up for it. I could play Jones. He's flashing. But I don't know. I don't really like Jones for some reason. I prefer Blint and Godin. They've done a much better job partnering at the back. Schneidlin, Schweinsteiger. Uh, we're going to start Mata today. Uh, Griezmann's up for this one. Well, he's not up for it. But Griezmann, of course, uh, Depay's up for it. And Lukaku absolutely buzzing. Unfortunately, Martial is injured. So he's not even going to make the bench. But it's a pretty solid lineup. A pretty solid bench. We'll probably put on a couple of players at some point. But yeah, this is the big one. We're going to keep it the normal 11-minute game. Superstar difficulty, as uh, we always do. So let's head over to Old Trafford for the final game of the Premier League season. So Manchester United have picked up at least one bit of silverware. The FA Cup final win in the last game against Chelsea with a big one for them. But today's just as big because if they don't win and Liverpool do, unless they win that Champions League game against Man City in a week's time, they won't be in it. Simple as that. But we are hoping for an absolute classic. There's so many quality players on show. So there's the home side. Get the ball rolling. Well, they know all about City. They will finish second this season, Manchester City. It hasn't been a bad... Oh, it's a great challenge by Bastian Schweinsteiger. And here comes Luke Short. He's looking for Lukaku. And it's a good save by Joe Hart. What a star that would have been. And here is Mata. Well, there's more on the line than just three points in this one. Here's Luke Short. Delivers that one in. Looking for Depay. Now towards Damian. Can he keep it on? Yes, he can. It's going to be Lukaku. He's straight at Joe Hart. Great dish out to find Aguero. It's well played, Schneider. Well, if you think today's game is a battle, just wait till the Champions League match next week. That's going to be some match. The first time ever Manchester Derby has been in the final of the Champions League. Damian, that wasn't a bad ball to find Schweinsteiger, who's actually got there ahead of his man, Lukaku, that's a late challenge by company, the referee's getting a lot go at the moment, Kolarov up against the pie. Fernando, good challenge by Mata, Aguero, Damian slipping, lays it inside, Silva, it's a good turn by him, that's great play by Schneiderlin, Feinsteiger, Griezmann, finds short, and now Griezmann continues to run through the middle, it's a fantastic ball, it's going to be Lukaku, oh what a save by Hart. Over to Hayat, looking for Lukaku, Silva, not a bad idea, over to Hayat gets it away, Lukaku couldn't win the header. United regained possession. A really, really quick half. Referee, that's a late one. Certainly was by Raheem Sterling in the first card of the game. Now look at this, just went flying in. Completely missed the ball. Studs up as well, it's a little bit reckless. Joe Hart playing it short. Man United know today that a draw probably wouldn't be enough. Griezmann, it's Mata, it was deflected, and Lukaku, oh what a save from Joe Hart, that's unreal, it's going to be another United corner here, the ball is fizzed in, comes back out to find Short, who's still trying to power his way through, we've seen some unbelievable stuff this first 45 minutes, Sterling, 
needs to be careful now. He's on that yellow card. Played by Schweinsteiger. Cleared away by David De Gea. The Pies missed it. Company's tracking back. Cleared away only as far as Schweinsteiger. Gabby did win the header. Matter. Schweinsteiger. That's nicely worked. Depay! Oh, what a goal that is! Right before the break, Memphis Depay gives United the lead. That's brilliantly worked. Luke Shaw, little flick inside. Matter to Schweinsteiger. He could have hit this one, the German. He decided not to, just laid it inside. And it's a fine strike with his left peg. Now, Luigi will be delighted with that first half display. I mean, they had six shots, United, to Man City's one. They really got outplayed there, Manchester City. I mean, for them, it isn't a big game. They don't have to win, but I'm sure they'd like to see United knocked out and not in the Champions League next season. The next game will be the massive one where they will have to play a hell of a lot better than they are at the moment. And they can still keep the ball, they can still play football, we know that. Zabaleta's lost it, now a chance for United to break it. Has Griezmann seen the run of Romelu Lukaku? And Joe Hart is wide awake. Clearance is only found short. It's going to be Bastian Schweinsteiger. It's deflected to Depay! And he picks up a second. Come on! What a belter. And United now looking like fourth place is in the bag. Well, you have a better angle of this. Look at the touch, the control. And what about that for a finish? Into the top corner. Nothing Joe Hart can do. Uh, Juan Mata being replaced by Wayne Rooney. And 23 minutes left to play. That's an absolutely horrendous touch there by Campany, but luckily Depay didn't read it too quickly. Here comes Aguero. Up against Damian. Kolarov back towards Aguero. Aguero's done well. Damian's completely missed it. Luckily the strike was straight at De Gea. Godin will bring it away. Steiger. Good feet by him, but uh, a little bit too slow. Ball over the top. It's actually come off uh, the wrong player. Laid square! And it's just wide by Cudaguero. Now Kevin De Bruyne coming on for David Silva. Just Luke Shaw. Griezmann. Just come back towards Shaw. I tell you, Zabaleta, he's in the mood today to just pull off some Michael Jackson moves he spent about five minutes on the floor and to be fair his challenges have all been pretty spot on and here's a chance for Brian and Brian has scores and that is a massive goal for City in the sense that it could be bad news for United and he's only been on the field five minutes we still need another goal that's not a bad ball you know it's a good play by Cody Damien decides to hit that one long. Kevin De Bruyne has given Man City some life, hasn't he? What a ball that is. Aguero, what a save. Oh, and how does he miss it? What a chance for Sterling. It's a great stop from Aguero's volley. And then Sterling just couldn't poke it in. Well, two changes being made in there, defensive ones, tactical. Griezmann off, Depay off, Valencia Markovic on. Aguero, looking to switch it. Ottavendi. Oh, that's a great turn by Sterling. That's brilliant. Oh, Daly Blint, fortunately, read it like he read the X-Files. Bastian Schweinsteiger. Lukaku he'll take this one to the corner there's no point even crossing it just try and hold it up do something with it here is Fernando lays it back again towards Zabaleta and there's the full time whistle well it's a massive win because it does mean United will be in the Champions League playoffs 
at the start of next season. What a result for them. Well, Man City fought hard, played better the second half. Manchester United just too dominant in the first. Applauding the fans for a, a relatively decent season. Next season they'll obviously want to come back with a bang. Godin was definitely a, a fantastic signing. Along the likes of Romelu Lukaku. There it is though, eight shots to six. Second half, Man City definitely played better. Man of the match was Memphis Depay with two goals today. So let's have a look at the other results. Arsenal won their match. Bournemouth actually won surprisingly. Liverpool did draw. So even if we had possibly drawn that match, we would have been through. Chelsea won their match. So this is how the league has finished. Arsenal comfortably 10 points clear. Champions of the season. City second. Chelsea third. United finishing fourth. Three points ahead of Liverpool and a big gap there between fifth and sixth. Newcastle, they're having a, a good season. Tottenham disappointing down in 12th. And unfortunately, Bournemouth, Leicester City and Norwich City being relegated. But anyway, the last game of the actual, actual season is about to begin. And there is Wayne Rooney, who has now become... An absolute legend. He is a, a bandiera, if that's how you even say it. Rooney really is the symbol of this team. Picked up five Gs for that. Nice. He's been through so much with us. Any coach would be thrilled to have someone like him on the team. He has all the effects of a superstar, a general, and a grandmaster. Sales of merchandise in home games will also increase dramatically. Lovely, jubbly. Question, though, is... If we'll even keep him, we'll have to wait and see. So there it is. We finished fourth. A derby match against City. Yeah, we know. Another big game against them. But this one, I'm sure, is going to be a hell of a lot tougher than the last one. So there is the, the top goal scorers as well. Diego Costa top. Aguero second. And Olivier Giroud finishing in third. Now let's have a look at how all the other season results finished. So in the Sky Bet Championship, Hull City and QPR, first and second. I'm not sure if there is the third playoff in pairs. I don't know how it works. Well, there must be. So we'll have to wait and see who advances through on that one. Well, there is the uh, the semi-finals. As you can see, Leeds United against Cardiff and Burnley taking on Derby for the other English promotion playoff. In the City of Ah, wow, look at that. Juventus winning it. Uh, well, they don't do it by goal difference, do they, in Italy, I guess? They do it by something else. They must do it by uh, versus. So Juventus finishing top and AC Milan second. Or do they both win it? I don't know how it works. They both got a one next to them. So uh, <laughs> there that is. In Spain, it was Real Madrid and Barcelona first and second. But Real Madrid comfortably in the end. Ten points they won. Fantastic season for them. In France, Paddy Saint-Germain walked away with it. 33 point difference between first and second. Marseille in second. In the old Dutch league, Ajax finishing first and PSV Eindhoven in second. And finally, in Portugal, it was Porto. Two points clear of Benfica and uh, four points clear of Sporting. Yeah, quite a close league there, to be honest. So, yeah, if we do have a look at the top goal scorers, it was Costa first, Aguero second, Jeru and Pella in third. The Lukaku finished end up in 6th. Not too bad for him. Griezmann ended up 13th. I think Rooney will be up here as well. Depay actually had 8 goals of the season. And Rooney had 7. For top assists, Santi Gazzola, 16 for him. That's a lot of uh, a lot of assists there. David Silva, Sissoko and Leighton Baines finishing in 2nd with 11. Do we have anyone? We had Juan Mata with 5. And uh, that's about it. So there it is, individual titles, check, player of the season. Well, that's, uh, that shows you a lot, doesn't it? When the player of the season is a goalie, Diego Costa, top scorer, Santa Cazorla, top assist, and, uh, well, that's that's Arsene Wenger, not Dills. Dills is nickname, but yeah, Arsene Wenger, best manager of the season. Well, there is the, the team of the tournament. Fortunately, we don't have any players in there. It's disappointing. Czech, Koscielny, Sacco, Baines, Klein, Matic, Hazard, Torre, Sissoko, Benteke and Costa. Yeah, Benteke, as if he would ever be in the team of the year. 
So that is it, guys, for today. One final game to come. Yep, the Champions League final. It's going to be massive. And then we obviously head into uh, all the fun stuff, the transfers and everything else. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know. Leave a comment. And until next time, take care.